my name is uh, David. Uh, I've been playing board games for a long time, probably about 2006. So oh, wow. I've been playing for over like 15, uh, nearly 14 or 15 years. Of course, when I was a kid, I also played like Monopoly or Game of Life, stuff like that. But in about 2006 or 05, I started playing like like a Settlers of Catan okay. and also like Puerto Rico and then the, the Race to the Galaxy, stuff like that. One of my favorite games is uh, Steam, uh, Ro Road to Riches by uh, Martin Wallace, so I like to train games. How did you come to this position in life? Ah, so back in uh, the two early 2000s, we, uh, we were a group of friends that we do like, uh, basically we do uh, self-published small print runs of comics. Ah, okay. okay. So maybe only like a few pages, maybe 24 pages, and a small, a few hundred, uh, 100 print copies and sold at a small manga event in uh, Japan and also Taiwan. So we are experienced in doing printing and also some graphical design. And about, that, about in 2009, we started to thinking about maybe we could do board games and since we are familiar with the printing and publishing. So we started to try our own board game design. So we released our first game back in 20, 2011. So our, oh, okay. this brand, More Ideas Game Design, is established in 2011. And then we started doing uh, releasing about one game per year and on and on. And about six years ago, we started to take, bring our games to Essen and started, first we started with a booth, with a table within a booth, another Taiwan company. Okay. And also we did an alliance with other Taiwan publishers, indie publishers. And now we find about three, four years ago, about four years ago, I may have to check on that, but we finally got our own booths. And then we now we sell our own games in our own booths at Essen. In which country do you sell your products? Is just uh, home based or? Okay, so we sell our games uh, uh, in a lot of different countries. We sell, of course, we sell our own Chinese version in Taiwan and in China, and some places in Asia. And also, we sell a lot of games in Japan. We've been to the Japan Tokyo Game Market for nearly 10 years and we oh. so we sell a lot of games over there too and also we also have English versions of the game we sell them to the America sell them throughout Europe and also in Australia and the rest of the world yeah so we can we are quite globally oriented so we send a lot of games around the world each year uh, is there a market or a specific uh, part of the market that you would want to uh, get to in the future? Well, we are hoping to get into the uh, German market because if we can get a publisher or a partner in German, then that gives us a chance to get be able to be maybe nominated for the SDJ Game of the Year Award. So that's one of our, our long-term goals that we've been trying to achieve. Okay. Uh, do you have already other nomination in other countries? Uh, not in Germany. But uh, uh, last year, our game Mini Rails was nominated for the UK Games Award. Okay. Yeah. So UK Games Expo Award. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, we were shortlisted, which is nominated in for the strategy game category. Oh, okay. yeah. um, can you talk about the new game that you are bringing this year or the recent years? Okay. So this year, mostly we have uh, two new games. One is Shadow Rivals, it's a card game. Uh, we have uh, players will have a deck of uh, eight lady thieves. You're trying to send them into the mansions to try to steal stuff. And the other players also have to want to do the same thing. So you're competing with each other and trying to hinder their effects and advance your own position and trying to get more money and reputation. There's a lot of uh, card effects and a lot of interaction between the players. Okay. How many players in this game? Uh, this game is for two to five players, yes. Okay. And the other game we have is called Towers of Amhar. It's, uh, it's uh, loosely themed on uh, Lovecraftian horror. The players will be uh, uh, a leader of a, a secret cult. You're trying to summon your ancient god into the world. Oh. By, to do that is we have to, on this island, you are to send your 
meet your disciples, your priests, your cultists to this island and trying to gain control of the altar so you can summon your god. Okay. So, but to play it, you have to manipulate your disc on a special way. So it's based on the mathematical puzzle called Towers, Tower of Hanoi or Tower of Braham. So it's a mathematical puzzle that you have to move your disc in a special way. Yeah. Wow. Okay. okay. Um, can you tell us about uh, what your firm stands for, what your company stands for, and what you, do you plan in the future? What do you want to achieve? Ah. So our game is called More Ideas. It's a uh, uh, No Ideas. No, no, no. It's called More ah. More Ideas. More so ideas. It's, it's, okay. called, it's, it's a It's, a, it's, it's kind of like more ideas, so we all have a lot of more ideas because we want to try to do different things and have interesting stuff. So that's why our games, we have a broad selection of themes. We do like a, we so like symphony is based on music, some is based on history, oh, okay. some are economic, and some are really weird like the Lovecraft in horror, and one is like thieves. So yeah, we do a lot of different things in our games. So this is a, a, a name that we brainstormed like a, a few for a long, long time, and we finally came up with this game, which is a moai. It's uh, the, the statue on the Easter Island, and uh, and uh, put it together with ideas. So it's quite iconic, and it's uh, pretty, and a lot of people uh, can see it and have a, can remember it quite easy, clearly. Thank you very much. Hey, that's all for today and right now I'm visiting my family in France so I won't have the time uh, to uh, present the game uh, this year in 2019 but coming next in 2020 will be the Tower of Amhard Amhard? Amhard? I haven't played it yet um, Shadow Rivals I've played this actually yet uh, Uh, with my parents, that's, I think that's the first time I play uh, a board game with my parents, so it was very fun. And also, last but not least, Mini Rails that won the award in 2018 for the Game Expo in the UK. I wish you a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, a very Happy New Year, hopefully. See you next year.